Yes, sir. -y. I got this bright idea today. About 11.30 in the morning. But I was going to go do a little day hike. But I'm going to take my actual long hike bag. The Teton 3700 new sport bag. It's over there in the floor. Now I've got her loaded. She's loaded with a lot of stuff. Why would you say would you take all of that on a one day hike? Well, I need to get used to that pack. I need to get adjusted to it, find the kinks, the flaws, this, this, and that. So, with that being said, that's why I'm taking all of my stuff. Not all of it, but a lot of the stuff. See how it wears, see how it fits, see how fatigued I become. Because before I decide to take off on a four or five day run and hiking most of it, I want to make sure that my equipment fits me well. So we'll be back when we get to the north end of the Penhody Trail. Getting the tops up because they're high enough up that I know that they've dried down, even though from all the snow. And get me some of this. Some more, a little bit more. Green. Well, guys, here we are heading down through the woods, checking out some scenery, seeing what's going on, looking for some new areas to possibly camp at, see what new wildlife we run across. That's about it. I'm using a wool blanket instead of a lightweight backpack type um, sleeping bag. That wool blanket weighs three times as much. So it should have been pushed to the top. Maybe wore on the outside instead of stuffing Empty. it down in to make some pine pitch. But not today. Although I'm sitting right here with a ton of resources my buddy we'll get back to that thing here in a minute this is fine. Uh, not cedar doesn't make as good only so that it doesn't just all the way there you can smell the pine salt I feel like mocking with it now I'm gonna take little chunks off of it There's that. I'm getting a little short on this handle because I'm going to the wrong angle. Alright, Alan. This part of it's for you, brother. Sticky briars. <laughs> That's my shortcut. <coughs> Excuse them, we. I could go through that. I got gloves on, but I'm not. I'm going around it. <laughs> There's my new food container system. It's a mainstay. Um, I kind of like the idea because I can put all this, there's $12 worth of stuff total in this. And that's counting the container. It was a dollar, dollar twenty nine, dollar twenty nine, two for a dollar, fifty nine cents, eighty nine cents. Don't recommend leaving that in the car if you're gonna leave it in your car. Sixty nine cents, eighty nine, eighty nine. I think's what it was. I had these. Um, if you had to buy them, it wouldn't be that much more. But anyway, I scratched that place thinking about making a camp. It would be neat to have one over there. There's a downside to it. It's all straight up wind. I sat there for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I felt wind hit me from all directions. Just really wasn't a place to put one. I went on about, I don't know, maybe a half a mile on over, checking out a, another spot on down. It's got water. It doesn't run all year long. It's just over to the left of me there 
but there's a lot of flats in here but I'm afraid the wind's gonna get caught down in there but the bad thing about ridges is there's really no great super spot unless you can find a dip that you can get down right here is the snow runoff that we had and the ice I mean, naturally you can tell it runs a lot through the years but or through the year but it's not a full-time run so in the water a little bit go on over don't get your feet wet it's so cool there to me and I think this is where I'm gonna do my tea it's all dammed up on down there Lighted. or the person that just isn't savvy enough to figure it out just to the left so I got my Zippo with me today <clears throat> and there it is now to light it that's the problem <coughs> I would assume that it would have been able to have been hit with a Phariseum rod it's not or at least I couldn't get it to. But once you get her going it doesn't take a lot the problem is this getting it in that little stupid thing without burning yourself <laughs> but there it is and yes it's lit so by thinking to myself why did it not boil maybe because it was nine degrees outside when I done it so that could have possibly been it water it's got a nice little measuring cup 12 ounce put her on it make sure it's on a little more stable guys here's my new little firebox we're gonna start this thing with flint and steel again so I'm gonna get over here and see if I can't get a spot started out to where we can actually see what's going on so I'll be sent Kind of push for time, so we'll be back. Has but bald. Apple cider. Ran off into the boiling cup of water. It's not boiling anymore. Spoons of the trash. like this little cup. I'll tell you why. 
haven't wasted any of my time prepping for the fire wasting any of my fuel for it Well, my hand flexion time. Time to sit back and think about what we've got going on and what we don't. I came out here today just to get out, spend some time, eat some Cheetos, cheese bits, whatever. Boiled me some tea. Cider, sorry. Got it boiled up, done what I was going to do. Cleaned up my spot. Can't tell I was even here. Eating the rest of these up. Gonna take the last hour before sunlight. It's completely gone. I'm gonna be walking with the sun. I walked east since it was after 11 towards camp, so I'm gonna be walking with the sun. So I'll be able to get back. Um, Teton works great. I see some adjustments that I've got to do to make it more suitable for a long term. You know, an everyday pack on a half of camp or whatever, but she's done good. We'll call her Red. Um, instead of a wool blanket, I will pack just a three season or lightweight. That'll help out on the back part of it. I need to adjust my torso on it. Um, I thought I had it right, I didn't. Everybody in Georgia's got a gun. <laughs> oh, now I think they all came out. A friend of mine's dad bought that truck new, 1986, I think it was 85. Me and Tim's has that. That truck has been on more mountain roads than any other truck. Grew up on these ridges and the mountains in northwest Georgia and he just when his dad passed Tim really didn't have no need for it anymore it been sitting out in his yard piled full of trash and we pondered up a deal I think it was 800 bucks that's what we ended up going for and there sits 